Hello and welcome back. Chelsea have just absolutely smashed Everton 6-0. Cole Palmer is the absolute boy. This geezer's got to be starting for England. Is there anyone better than him that's English right now in this very moment? I'm not sure. He's in a mid-table Premier League side and he's scored 20 goals. He's the top scorer in the Premier League. He's got nearly the most assists. He's doing the business at such a young age. I genuinely think he is comparable to any player in the England squad right now and comparable to most players around Europe. He is that good. I'm running out of superlatives. Just when I said, oh, his weak foot wasn't good enough, to round off a perfect hat-trick, he lobs Pickford from 30 yards with his right foot. He's got everything in his locker. This is one of the best players we've seen in a Chelsea shirt. He's only been doing it for almost one season. What a fantastic player. He's breaking records and putting up numbers that the best of the best of the best have achieved. This is a fantastic player. And England and Chelsea should be doing their all to build a squad around this player. Yes, there's, an exce there's exceptional players in that England squad, but he is one of them. He absolutely has to be starting for England. And Chelsea have to be doing all they can to hang on to him. I said yesterday that Chelsea would be more than likely under this current ownership to potentially go and sell him. I don't want that. I don't think any Chelsea fan wants that. But it just wouldn't surprise me. People come to me and talk about homegrown and the players that this ownership want to sell. No, they just want to make money. And if they can turn 40 million into over 120, 150 million, they're going to sell him. 100 million... Of course they want to make that kind of money. This is a fantastic player who I don't think anyone expected to get to the level that he has. He's been fantastic. I remember saying, oh, he'll be a good player and he'll grow and he'll grow into the team. From the get-go, as soon as I saw this guy, I remember sitting there, the first time I watched him, I turned to my brother and said, wow, he's sharp. That is the level at Manchester City. That is what we need to be putting and injecting into this squad. And you know what? He started off from being this sharp young player to an elite level player in such a short space of time. His last four games are two goals, three goals, two goals, four goals. Something like that, isn't it? It's mental. He is so good. And, and just when people start to question him and doubt him about certain things, he's like, nope, I'm going to level up. I'm going to the next level. What a fantastic player. The performance itself from Chelsea last night was everything that we needed. A 6-0 thrashing against Everton when we actually were horrific against them earlier on in the season. We managed to nullify them in their strength or strong areas. We managed to play the game in a way that suits Chelsea Football Club. We didn't just get a couple of goals and sit back like we'd done with this Pochettino side in previous weeks, we were killers, we were ruthless, we put that game to bed. Six goals, everyone was fighting trying to score, like when it comes to the penalty. Look, that's 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 lack of leadership from Pochettino early on in the season about not choosing a penalty taker that's led to that. But ultimately, everyone was hungry yesterday. I've seen, I can moan at players for not doing enough. At least yesterday, everyone wanted a bit of the action. And I think when you have a player like Cole Palmer... To that level, everyone's like, I need to get up to his level. Everyone's going to be talking about him. I need to try and match him. It's amazing what a player like that can do to a team. He has been exceptional and he's been the only shining light in a pretty horrific season for Chelsea this season. But that win yesterday, that's what I want to see more of. The last two games we've had at Stamford Bridge, yes, we've been on it. We have. Like that Man United game, obviously, was a big moment in the end. That's 10 goals at Stamford Bridge for Chelsea in its last two games at home. It's fantastic. I genuinely think the push for Europe is on with an outside chance. What European competition that is, I'm not sure. It's more than likely Conference League, but I couldn't be more confident going, confident going into this City game as well. I think we found a defensive partnership in Silva and Chalaba that looks good. It looks fluid. We've got fullbacks that are fit and look competent at their jobs. We've got a midfield that looked fluid and fast in transition and recovered really, really well. That's high energy. We've got a number 10 that, that is literally the best in the league in his position. We've got... Bar All right, people are going to say Kevin De Bruyne, but Kevin De Bruyne isn't putting up Cole Palmer numbers this season. And look, I know we're not talking about ability here, but 
anyway. He's up there, right? He's in that discussion, which is crazy to think where he was a year ago. Um, not even a year. Our wingers, they're questionable at the moment. There are mistakes and there are lack of performance in those wingers. I'm not going to question that. And our striker, wow, he's growing into something. His link-up play is fantastic. His dribbling is fantastic. He's a bit of a playmaker. And the way he finished yesterday, we look good. We look strong. And the last time he went to City, we didn't look bad at all. If we can get it right, I've got confidence. Maybe I'm setting my standards a little bit too high in what I expect and maybe I'm kind of getting hopeful, too hopeful that we could go there and get something against the best team in world football. However, this Chelsea team, they've surprised me this season at times and off the back of that performance, who knows what can happen but we also know that off the back of a good performance, our next performance could be something that just drops off the face of the earth. Like it could be ridiculously poor so we just don't know but honestly I am over the moon with that performance yesterday it's been a long time since we've scored six goals in a game it's been a long time since we kept a clean sheet it's been far too long since Chelsea have had a player in the Premier League get 20 goals up the top of the golden boot chart do you know how long that's been far too long a fantastic evening all round for Chelsea Football Club. It really was. And do you know what? Fair play to the fans that turned up. Because there were fans yesterday that didn't fancy it. They literally... I think we probably had record numbers yesterday of tickets going on the ticket exchange. Well, you know what? The fans that turned up and said, No, this is my club. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to support these players. They got rewarded last night. Yes, they did. And do you know what? I'll be honest. I actually don't blame the people that turned up that didn't turn up yesterday. Right, It's been that shambolic this season that I don't blame the people that are at their wits end. I don't. But at least the people that go, do you know what, I'm going to support my team. They turned up, they got rewarded for it. That's what I'm more happy about. I'm not even having a go at the people that didn't turn up because do you, do you know what, I actually don't blame them. It's been that poor. And who knows how the rest of the season is going to go, but we've given ourselves another chance after that stupid performance away at Sheffield United Look, let me know your thoughts. Are you happy with how things have gone last, like in the last few weeks at Chelsea Football Club? Because people are saying to me, like, you're not losing, you're drawing games. And they have a point, but they feel like huge... Po Those four points against Burnley and Sheffield United feel massive to me. Massive. But we really have to start thinking about building a team next season around Cole Palmer. And I mean building a team. This is the, the guy at the head of the table at Chelsea Football Club in terms of players. You build a team around him, you allow him to have the reins of this. And he can be creative, he can be the goal scorer, he can be the man that takes penalties. He has to become the man. But he needs warriors and gladiators and high-level performers around him for that to happen. Not inexperienced kids that are going to come push him off the ball for penalties. Do it, Chelsea Football Club. Hold on to Cole Palmer. Give him the contract he's going to deserve because look at the names he's up and around him with his stats and his level of performances. They're on big money. Pay the money. Break the model. Forget about the process. Build a winning team. You've got one of the best young players in the world. Do something about it. Build a team around this guy for the next decade and watch us reap the rewards. If you don't, you won't. It's as simple as that. Look, thank you, Cole Palmer, for this season. Whatever happens in the next coming weeks, whether or not we get to the FA Cup final, whether or not we achieve Europe, you've been a sensational talent this season. And wow, do I hope you stay at Chelsea Football Club because we gave you a chance. But obviously, if we can't match your expectations, I wouldn't be surprised to see you wanting more. I really wouldn't because you deserve it. Look, it's been an absolute honour watching you this season and an absolute pleasure. It feels like it's been far too long since we've seen that in a Chelsea shirt. Thank you to everyone who watched the video as well today. Make sure to smash a like, thumbs up the video, and make sure to subscribe to... I can't even get my words out. Make sure to subscribe because we are on the road to 2,500 subscribers. It would be a pleasure to welcome you in to this community to talk about football, to talk about Chelsea, and enjoy... 
the absolute heights that Cole Palmer has achieved this season. I'll catch you in the next one.